So most reference line arrays actually get built up in stages. The secret is to start with a stereo pair. Once you've absorbed that in your system, which will do wonderful things, believe me, for, the, for your main speakers, it will be a huge upgrade. The second phase then is stacking the second ones on top. It may take a year or a year and a half before you have enough funds to be able to do that again. That's fine. And then the final phase, you're gonna add this pair up here, and that's the, the part that gives you all the upper bass partials. So you'll start off with all the benefits of really fundamental primary deep bass that RELs always give you. And this is true for both music and movies. Then you'll add in the mid bass attack, which pays dividends in everything. Pays dividends in music, pays dividends for sure in special effects and theater. Do you think theater needs concussion? That's what the second one does. And then this gives you all the atmospherics, all the spatial stuff that makes your knees buckle, that has you looking and listening to a system going, I, I don't think I've ever heard this before. So this is how you build it up in progressive stages. And it lets you enjoy it at every stage and really come to understand what each part of this does. Sometimes I feel that the people that, that jump right in, that have the, the financial means to just get all six at once, never really fully get to appreciate what each part of this does. And by doing this in a progressive manner, it lets you really experience it and come to understand and balance it. This is not an overnight thing. It may take you a week of working carefully with crossover and gains to get it exactly balanced. It's great, take your time, enjoy it. This is a wonderful hobby to be involved in.